We had this essay. This is High Priestess Ashodara Singh. Welcome number three. For those of you born on the 3rd, the 12th, the 21st, please add up your birth. 21st, I'm sorry. Please add your birth date, not the month, not the year. And if it adds up to a number three, then you're in the right place because this video covers the predictions for the month of February 2024. The central theme of the month is described with the help of three cards from three different decks. The Dragon Oracle, Lord Shiva's Oracle deck and the Moonology deck. The four weeks in a month are described with the help of four cards from four different decks. You have the Dragon Tarot, the Celtic Dragon, the Smith Weight, and the Wicca Tarot. All right, number three, let's see what we have for you for the month of February 2024. You've pulled out the Waxing Crescent Moon. Remember, I taught you what the Waxing Crescent is. As the moon progresses towards the full moon, the size of the moon, this is called a crescent, the size of the moon increases, and that's called a Waxing Crescent. You are being asked to have faith in your dreams. Lord Shiva's card of rebirth correct, asks you to correct your mistakes, saying this is the right time to accept your mistake and put your efforts in correcting those mistakes instead of regretting later. And the card of bliss. So let's take this card first. You are supposed to have faith in your dreams. There is something that, something or things that you see yourself doing and you feel that that's the kind of life that you want to wake up to. We all have that. And that is the reason why some wise old sage came up with this lovely uh, adage of we are the creators of our destiny. If you want to create the life that you envision yourself seeing, then it's very simple really. Start with a thought, make it your thing in reality and work towards it. That's all you have to do. And it is your dream. If somebody else doesn't have the faith in it, in your dreams, then that's all right because guess what? They have their own bucket of dreams. All right, so don't don't sweat it. So this is a card that I talk a lot about. You need to correct your mistakes. There are mistakes that you have made, and you have to accept that these mistakes have been made. You have to be all right with it. Forgive yourself for it, and uh, this is the time that you are supposed to accept it. And of course, your vibrational frequency will shoot up. And that's going to be very, very good to attract the good stuff, the positive stuff that you want in your life. Um, not just that, um, they're, they're, instead of regretting later and saying, you know what, I should have, um, you know, I, I should have corrected my mistakes. And remember, you're doing this more for yourself than for any other reason, because the moment your vibrational frequency shoots up to whatever it takes to make it go up, <clears throat> the higher the vibration, the more positive experiences you have in, in your life. The lower the vibration, the lower the experiences you have in your life. That's it. That's as simple as the crumbling cookie. This beautiful golden dragon is here to say that you need to achieve a state of bliss. At least that's what you're going to want for yourself in this month. Um, some of you are going to do what it takes to, you know, probably go to a retreat or spend some alone time maybe have a hobby, spend some time with your partner, family, but you will do what it takes to try and achieve a state of bliss, a state of peace, joy, contentment, etc. But remember, it is not a constant. Okay, so if you are going to say that uh, I'm happy, um, these are all, um, these are all pockets of time. So like, for example, nearing your meal, you say you're hungry, but after your meal, you don't, right? So these are pockets. So it's a feeling. It's a it's a state of being, but it's not constant. So this is what you try to achieve. And when you're working towards it, remind yourself that the that the journey is as important as the destination, right? All right, number three. Let's move on to the first week of Feb 2024. The cards you have pulled out are as follows. You've pulled out the devil card, six of wands. The three of coins, the three of pentacles and the magician card. Right up front, you have two major arcana cards, which means you have the blessings of the angels. Let's take this one first. The devil card tells me that you could be a capri or dealing with one. This card also means that you have some kind of an addiction and you need to get out of it. It's a ball and chain around your ankle and that's not something that you are going to be okay with on every level because this is going to pull your frequency down. This is going to pull your energy levels down and you won't be able to attract all the good stuff that you want. It could be something physical like smokes, alcohol, drugs, etc. <clears throat> could be gambling. Um, it could be negativity. 
it could be pessimism it could be overthinking sarcasm right uh, maybe too much time on social media maybe too much uh, time trying to compare so anything that doesn't make you feel good is an addiction right and addiction is never good addiction is a negative term in itself so you don't say oh this person loves to work it's an addiction even overworking is bad right so there is something that's happening in your life at the moment that you need to um, you need to address you need to prioritize and take care of it this is happening in the first week so watch out for that okay and if this card is showing up it means you need to take care of it before the whole um, the whole house of cards comes tumbling down the magician card this card is used a lot in spell casting this card says that you number three you are the magical manifester of your destiny in the first week you will notice how what you think will come true so if you're driving to work and if you uh, look at the traffic and say oh my god um, you know this traffic really bugs me the universe may not present more traffic jams for you but it will create more situations for you that will bug you therefore you are supposed to say hey you know what um, I'm here might as well you know I'm here with the rest of the vehicles and trying to move towards my destination or across the traffic light so you know what um, let me see if I can sit a little straighter let me see if you know like you know or listen to something funny I, I i'm i don't know what drives you but you need to check your thoughts especially in the first week and try and attract good things to yourself i'm going to have a great day today no matter what i'm going to love myself and be the best version of me today right i'm going to wait for a miracle that's going to come to my doorstep just before the struck uh, the clock strikes 12 so stuff like that so you'll be creating your destiny so this is an important card and this is also a very uh, ca uh, important card in terms of your self-discipline in terms of how you think the three of coins or the three of pentacles is a card that speaks about there is some talk that is happening with you bang in the center say you applied for a job you've applied for um, investors for your business you've applied for uh, you looking for buyers or sellers if you're um, you know, buying some property or selling your property uh, stocks anything to do with finance there is some talks happening with you bang in the center which means this will be a fruitful time and this whole situation will work in your favor, right? So enjoy this moment. It's a good thing. So don't think um, negative or don't think what if. The what if scenarios are the, are the worst ones, okay? Six of Wands, a beautiful card which says that you have enjoyed yourself, you have gained victory. So if I add these cards together, it kind of makes a lot of sense. Think about it, right? Maybe you need to not overthink something manifest good stuff to happen let this financial thing come through and be victorious and enjoy and reap the benefit see it's like a beautiful story i love my cards right maybe that's what's happening in your life number three all right second week of feb 2024 number three you've pulled out the nine of wands the eight of coins or the eight of pentacles the nine of swords and the magician card has come again so the magician card has come for the second time which compels me to tell you that the universe wants you to sit up and take notice it's come for the first and the second week which means you need to start watching your thoughts you are not going to allow yourself to think anything that makes you feel bad or feel a low vibe feeling because that's the kind of experiences you're locking on and attracting from the universe all right that's all i have to say to you i'm not going to repeat myself nine seems to be an important number for you in the second week mm, right but we'll take this one first eight of coins tells me that the important people who matter are sitting up and finally taking notice of your skill set whether you are a professional or a business person but this is happening in the second week so again fingers crossed looks like things are finally moving in your favor nine of swords tells me that you are uh, you're getting sleepless nights uh, you have to check your sleeping pattern if it is not stress or gut health then it looks like this is something that uh, maybe you are spending so much time in the night staying awake that uh, you have developed um, late night syndrome right you stay up late in the nights and waking up in the morning is that much more difficult uh, don't allow yourself this because you never mess with your sleeping pattern just 
you need to trust me on this okay because this can create a whole lot of issues not just physically but also in mind body in mind and spirit so fix the sleeping pattern if something is stressing you out uh, you know before you toss it out in the garbage or don't prioritize it you need to address it and face it nine of wands so you have been taking a stand for a while now you have been holding the fort so to speak for a while now and now it is time for you to uh, kind of wonder because you seem to be quite exhausted and you seem to be very alone in this journey of yours you don't know how long you can hold on you need to tell yourself that the sun is just about to come up right um, and uh, at the break of dawn is when we say that the glorious glorious uh, brightness prosperity and the yes outcome situations happen so looks like good news is just around the corner so hang in there for just a little while more okay the third week of uh, feb 2024 number three you've pulled out the queen of swords the hermit card the seven of swords and the eight of cups right so the queen of swords tells me don't go by the gender you could be a male also this tells me that it could be a Gemini or dealing with one. This card is also for divorces and widowers. So see how that works out. Maybe somebody in your life is going to be coming in or you yourself are one of them. This card also means that in a situation you're being quite stern. Okay, you're sheathing, you're, you're, you're swishing your sword around and you're being quite stern with people for the simple reason because the result is something that will directly affect you. Don't be too hard on yourself and, and, the, and trust this that the universe does not judge you for this one action um, because it looks like you don't have a choice but to be stern. Okay, Otherwise, you're not like this. This is not your intrinsic nature. That's all right. Hmm. The Hermit card tells me that you could be a Virgo or dealing with one. This card also means that you need to introspect. Self-introspection right now is very, very important in the third week. This card also means... Um, that this introspection of yours is something that will affect the further journey of the of the coming week or the coming few weeks because it looks like you need to take a, a very very important life-changing decision either for yourself or someone you love seven of swords looks like either you're deceiving someone or someone has deceived you so if someone has deceived you well be careful learn from the mistakes and move on and away from the person and situation if you have deceived someone understand that what goes around comes around and karmically it's a boo-boo seven of swords also means that in a situation that you are in or plan to be in you need to change your strategy because it doesn't look like the one that you have planned or have been uh, working on is not going to work eight of cups interesting so something that was of interest to you earlier does not hold your interest anymore and you seem to be walking away from it it's all right it could be a person a situation it could be anything so you know uh, you're walking away basically means that you've grown out and away from it and that's all right because we all change this also means that you might be planning a trip by the water and the last week of feb 2024 number three you've pulled out Nine of Coins or the Nine of Pentacles, the Lover's card, the Tower card, and the Eight of Swords. Right. Um, so Nine of Coins tells me that, well, don't go by the gender. You could be a male also. You are coming um, across as, some, <clears throat> as someone who is emanating a lot of money energy. You need to match this vibe. If you don't, then get in touch with us. We need to switch your vibe. You will be attracted to a lot of um, you know beauty and beautiful things to own for example um, an expensive trinket or bauble an expensive clothing item um, you know something which is satiny glitz glam glamour um, you know shiny uh, something that's eye-catching and that's because from the inside your blue magic energy your money energy is very very strong um, that's the good side of this card the flip side of course as usual is um, that people will be hooked on to you friends family you know prof your professional acquaintances so on and so forth because they will be sucking out this energy from you and that will make you feel depleted at the end of the day so be careful and leave some for yourself okay don't be all um, loving and giving all right so now we are done with the nine of coins or the nine of pentacles 
Um, and remember what I said, the next card that we have for you is the Eight of Swords. This card speaks about, uh, well, the Eight of Swords is actually a very good card, something we use a lot in spell casting. It's a very simple card, but it's a very, it's an add-on card, right? So this means that something is coming really, really quickly um, in your life. And this, it's a good card. And the, the, the process has already started. You're just about to receive it. Enjoy it. I'm really excited for you. Um, and uh, of course, don't forget to share good news. The tower card is here to say that something that you were expecting to end will end quicker than what you expected it to. I mean, you, it's not going to come as a shock to you. The only surprise will be that it's ended quicker than what you expected it to. Having said that, this is a situation that is a growth card, which means that it really depends once the initial shock is worn off and please try and see if you can happen really good uh, quickly land on your feet because you need to tell yourself that once i walk out of these flames i will be a stronger and better version of myself and that's exactly what is going to happen okay that's exactly what you're going to gift and reward yourself with and the last card for you number three for the month of feb 2024 is a lover's card which means you could be a gemini or dealing with one this card also means that you need to love yourself don't play second fiddle to anyone or anything don't keep yourself in the back seat. This is your life and you need to be the hero or the heroine of your life. Uh, tell yourself that it's not just about personal grooming. I'm also talking about positive thoughts, positive experiences to be attracted only through higher vibrational frequency. All right, number three. That's all <coughs> that I have for you. I will see you in the month of March. Until then, take care of yourselves. Love, light and knowledge to you all. And Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina. Beatus Essay.